Hello folks, and this is Kiki, uh, doing Let's Play Iron Man, Tim Salt, Part 2, uh, Burn the Bridge. Uh, same crew as last time. This time we just blow up the bridge that we just walked over, so uh, tan reinforcements don't try to cross it. Pretty simple mission here. Uh, this one can be kind of tough on beginners if you don't know where to look, and... Uh, they do try to warn you, but it's okay. Anyway, below below the ravine here are some tan troops, and we just clear away. First thing is to make sure that our guy is safe, covered behind the uh, little wall here. And like I said, look at that. If only I had manual aim, I could shoot that guy. Anyway, that's the uh, little cheap trick is as long as you're within a certain range, you can fire however many shots you want. And you can just walk into it, and it'll kill them for you. But that's about it. Anyway, there's a sniper way over there, and and it says watch the cliff for those snipers, and they give you a sniper rifle. So we'll go ahead and uh, get ourselves ready here. Unfortunately, there's no movement while using the sniper rifle, so we have to get into position. And we'll go ahead and make sure our guy is positioned pretty safe. Now, right now, the sniper doesn't hasn't noticed it yet. If you're a beginner and you walk too far, that sniper will just one hit, one to two hit pwn you. But anyway, we we'll just take our shot, kill him. Now the guys down below didn't notice, so we'll take him out. And they're not looking at each other right now, so we can get ahead and get away with uh, killing. The guy behind it. Looks like he knows something is up, but reacted too slow. Pretty much if you've hunted turkeys before, uh, just hit them where they're blind at, like last one in a row, and then just go along the line that way. Generally, they won't spot what's going on until it's too late. Sometimes they'll notice, but other times it's pretty much uh, just hit them while they're blind, and you'll kind of have a few moments of getting able to maybe pop another one or two out. Anyway, now we just, since uh, our main guy got damaged here, we'll use Boomer for a bit. Like I said, he's a little slower than uh, Zhao, but he'll do his job quite well. Pretty much Boomer is the uh, end of the mission here. But like I said, they did try to incorporate their teamwork. And here's again where manual aim would have helped. See those boxes over there are ammo boxes. But because of the game's uh, limitations of not giving us manual aim, it doesn't automatically target them. So we have to uh, walk back a bit and then kind of work the gun and there you go. And you notice there's more sniper ammo. So now we have some grenades, and we have a default rifle for our Boomer, and we just have a sniper rifle for Shao. Boomer can't pick up the sniper rifle because he's not a marksman, and I'll kind of explain that as I go along of what classes can use what. And now that we got 310 down here, looks like that guy is looking at us, but he's not. You notice there's two guys just barely on screen over there too, so we'll just be patient and wait on it. Just kind of be patient and wait for our shot and try to set them up. See, it's pretty interesting how they program the little AI, you know, the 10 AI to walk around though. It's kind of neat just to watch them walk around and patrol a bit. But it looks like we pop the guy, and we pop that guy, and we pop that guy. And there was all of a sudden a big old boom right next to us, and that's kind of what I was jumping back about. That, all, everything over there is just for tease, so don't worry about it. Now, the reason that I'm being so skippy around being around the water is because uh, there's PT boats. And uh, pretty much there's one PT boat that patrols around every so often. 
so you pretty much use your best runner to uh, trigger him and then yeah back off now him he's protected by the tree see can't it shoot the gun goes right through it can't shoot him hit the barrel nothing hit his arm nothing he's protected by the tree but rather than just do it that way we'll just throw a good old fashioned hand grenade And this is where 3 really likes to shine, is it's grenade throwing this time around. It actually adjusts the uh, arc just for it, just to make sure that you hit the right spot, making sure you throw just low enough to where it'll get reasonably close to where you're aiming at. Which make, kind of makes me confused. Why is they spend so much just trying to... Oh, and there's the PT boat, by the way. So we got to hide these guys real quick. Make sure they're okay. We'll just let the PT boat pass, and then we'll move on. But anyway, it just kind of makes me wonder what's going on with it, because each World at War series, the grenade mechanics change just slightly. Like, some of them, you'll notice, will have a little bit of higher arc. Some of them will have a lower arc. Some of them will have adjustable arc. And as you can see here, that is, that is kind of a clunky thud. And you can snipe those barrels off uh, with a sniper rifle. I mean, get them to explode with a sniper rifle. That's kind of a waste of ammo. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of creep our way up, see what's go going on in my head. Looks like we got two guys way farther in the back. We have some explosives, uh, corpses over there. I'm just checking around and see if the PT boat's going to come back. And I got three guys there. Ah, that's a little bit too much for uh, Stau here. And there's a automatic machine gun that, hidden in those bushes there too. I don't know if you saw it or not while I was walking through. But there's one right next to that corpse where we were killing him at. So, see, we picked it up while we were moving around. And now let's go back to Boomer. Pretty much what Boomer's going to do is since he has hand grenades, he's just going to clear the path for us. We'll just take our time here. Don't know when that PT boat's gonna come back, and he kind of moves slow, so be careful. It looks like we got spotted. Boomer stealth isn't the greatest in the world, so they could hear him that far away. That's where stealth comes more into play: is uh, how far out they can hear you. Some uh, some of the stealth is so high, like Shadows, where it'll walk like within three or four steps before they finally notice you. And then there's guys like this where they'll notice you like five miles away. Just because of how noisy he walks. And that stealth kind of comes into play in later missions. They don't come in right now. And pretty much that's where the PT boat's going to come in. And it looks like there's two guys up ahead, but we can't hit them. So let's try it again. I, I still don't know when a PT boat's going to come in. So come on. Okay, we'll go ahead and bum rush a little bit. Okay, I took out those two guys. Now we'll go ahead and head back with uh, Chanel here after we pick up the explosives. And like I said, this is another one of those noob traps of uh, misrunning and planting the demo. Like I said, it is timed where so many increments of where that PT will appear. And generally, if you're playing either carefully or trying to do a quick run, the PT boat will always kind of re-trigger right there, right at the bridge and then kill you. So just use your speed character here, trigger it, run back, and then you'll be in the clear. Should be a little longer. A little longer. I know he's gonna trigger. Come on. There's the bridge. And then there he triggers on us. So I figured it'd be close. Let's go ahead and run back.
And if you don't believe me, see there's PT boat right there. See, tell you it's coming. Now we're safe to go ahead and end the mission. So let's go ahead and end the mission. As you noticed, it kind of made a that right turn there, so it's going to loop around again if we take so long. Like I said, it's just a time thing. So we'll go ahead and equip our knife for some speed, and we'll go ahead and blow this bridge up. See, even the game will say, this is a good place to set up dynamite. They'll try to... Uh, Give you some tool tips or whatnot to help you out, figure out what you need to do. Okay, let's go ahead and watch the fireworks. There we go. Now just get back to the top of the hill and we'll wait for further orders. So this will be Key signing out for uh, part two. Thank you.